Yeah, I mean, the you men know, do the more dangerous we, jobs. We do the more dangerous jobs. We do most your of the fighting is, in the war. Right, your job is very dangerous at this table. CNN's Laura Coates, uh, because, you know, there's been this big push this week, and we'll have more on this in just a moment, big push to get men to like Kamala, but they just don't seem into her. I'm glad, I'm, it, was an, it was an eloquent point, and I'm glad, I'm glad you got to make the eloquent point. Telling uh, working class voters who are men in particular, but white working class male voters in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, sorry, bro, the progress means that no one can speak for you and no one can be in favor of your interests. But aren't working that, class that's people also people, people who are going to be color? confused? It's why is it just it, men? It, when they're working class as well, it, it, you realize. No, of course, but we're speaking about masculinity and why, as right, the topic at hand is why is it that the Republican Party is the party of guys who are, you know, th that, that talk about masculinity in traditional terms, that speak about courage, that speak about getting after it, that speak about taking risks. And the Democrats are, announce your pronouns, let's have boys pretend they're girls in the locker rooms, let's put tampons in the girl. This is just reality. Do you know, they call them, the, 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 what's his name? I mean, no, those things happen. They don't happen everywhere. Well, but they happen but, in enough places well, that the I, Democrat Party won't condemn it. And so you ask, why? Why, why are they okay with all of this? Why is courage only a masculine quality? These, these are... <laughs> And see, here, here, here we go. It's not that it can't be. It's not that it can't be a feminine quality as well. But then you get into this. What is the definition of masculinity yeah. that can be positive that doesn't upset the feminists? There's nothing. You say, oh, risk taking, uh, greater tolerance for, uh, you know, for um, dealing with like long hours at work, whatever it may be. Oh, that's terrible because you're disenfranchising women who have the same. Well, okay, they but do so the only it. masculinity is toxic masculinity. This is why Tim Walls, and it's not working, and he's going around telling everybody, look at me. They do more dangerous jobs. Yeah, of course. That's just a fact. Yeah, I mean, they do the more dangerous we, jobs. We do the more dangerous jobs. We do most your of the fighting is, in the war. Right, your job is very dangerous at this table. Um, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. No, but, I'll tell you why. I, mean, I, mean, I, 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 I did serve in two war zones yeah. for the CIA, I'm so let's like, about, let's like chill about, that out a little bit. Let's I'm, chill that out a little bit. All right, so Buck just did a bang up job there. Buck, you're getting a bottle of my, te oh, I almost said the name of the tequila. I almost announced it accidentally. Coming out next month, you're getting a bottle from the first case uh, in honor of what you did right there. Buck just laid out facts. We all know what's happening here. The left has decided that being a man means you're sort of effeminate and can't get a boner. And you're just meh. And you're not sure if your genitals match the rest of your body. And you sort of talk like this. And your hands are always like this. And what's happened now is that has created this thing on the right where there's these guys and they work out and they take care of themselves. Some of them eat a lot of red meat and they are able to protect their spouse and their family. They might own firearms. They've woken up to the importance of free speech. And the left does not know what to do with that. Interestingly, Laura Coates, who interrupted him repeatedly and kept saying that she was being interrupted by him, she did a trick that I really want you guys to, to notice. It's, it's a little mnemonic trick that they use constantly when they're in debates with people. So Buck's just laying out, he's just saying the truth calmly, like respectfully and everything else. Notice she keeps asking him questions. Instead of making a point, she can't really make a point because their arguments are pretty thin. So she just keeps asking him questions. And it's an interesting debate tactic, something you should be aware of. <laughs> 